Christian just graduated from high school. National Museum of African American History and Culture senior curator William Pretzer is about to take him back in time to a contentious and risky moment in American history. Have you ever heard of the Little Rock Nine? I know that they were brave students who got into their high school when a lot of people weren't for desegregation. Absolutely. Those nine kids who volunteered to be the first to desegregate the high school were subject to a lot of violence and a lot of hatred, and their families were threatened as well. So it took a lot of courage on their part. The youngest one was Carlotta Walls, and this is the dress that she wore that first day of school. Millions of visitors have learned about Carlotta's story in the museum, but few have had the chance to meet her. It's an incredible honor to meet you, Carlotta. It's a pleasure to meet you. And there's one object in particular she'd like to share. There's a Little Rock Nine high school diploma sitting right in front of me. <laughs> That's the most important document out of the collection that I have presented to Smithsonian. It really means a lot to me. And for me to receive that diploma, it validated all of the things that I had gone through. Despite having the law behind them, when the Little Rock Nine tried to go to school, they were met by huge, angry mobs. There were 17 Little Rock policemen, and they could not hold back the mob that was there. We were spirited out of the school because the mob was asking to lynch one of us, and not asking, yelling it. That was probably my scariest day. Did you ever think it would get any worse than the mob and the hate that was being spewed at you daily? I thought that was bad enough until yeah. February 9th, 1960, when my home was bombed. When that took place, it took a lot out of me because they were on my property now and had, had planted a bomb. It was late at night. We didn't know what had happened. Glass was everywhere. I jumped out of bed and my mother was coming out of her bedroom, my two sisters as well, then ran towards the front of the house. Did everybody make it out okay? Yes, fortunately we weren't harmed. Did it ever cross your mind as even an option to quit or to drop out? I knew that that's what they wanted me to do. I didn't have to go to back to school. I could have taken a day off. I went back to school that next day because I was determined not to let them win. Yeah. I felt like I needed to also send a message that I'm still here, that I am going to continue, despite what you're doing to me. Carlotta's strength and determination finally paid off. In May 1960, she graduated from Central High School. What was going through your mind when you finally grabbed the piece of paper? that I had completed what I started. And that was very important to me. It validated everything that I had gone through. I was able to complete my mission, which was to finish high school at Little Rock Central High. 